Nothing but relief and smiles for Michael Saunders back in 2011 when he walked out of jail after spending 17 years behind bars for a rape and murder he did not commit. I need to catch back up on lost time that I lost while being incarcerated for a crime in which I didn't commit. This week, time caught up with him. 42-year-old Saunders was shot and killed in Calumet Park early Monday morning. Shock was the first word that came across uh, and heartbroken because, um, you know, Michael has been doing great in his life. Innocence Project co-founder and lawyer Peter Neufeld represented Saunders in his post-conviction cases and lawsuits against the city and county. Saunders was just 15 years old when he and three others, known as the Inglewood Four, were convicted of raping and killing a woman on the South Side in 1994. It wasn't until we were able to prove, uh, you know, that the real perpetrator of the crime was some serial criminal more than twice his age who acted alone uh, that we were able to exonerate him. The Inglewood Four say they were physically abused by Chicago police detectives and coerced into confessing. I'm very, very angry. It's a lot of resentment. But the effort was made to compensate Saunders for the years lost. In 2017, he and three others settled a $31 million wrongful conviction lawsuit with the city of Chicago. Two years later, Cook County paid $24 million to settle their case. He was very careful, you know, with the money that he had. He wanted to be there for the kids. Newfeld says Saunders, who was always smiling, stayed active with the Innocence Project, helping other exonerees, and successfully lobbying for legislation to record police interrogations. He was always willing to step up and do his fair share, or do more than his fair share. Calumet Park Police have not released any details about Saunders' death. Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness News.